Today I will be showing you how to make a square using perpendicular bisectors. We start with a line and we can just label our start with some points. We can label them A and B. They can be labeled whatever you like. We're going to create a perpendicular bisector. We can remember that a square has four sides of equal length and four 90 degree angles. So one thing you have to remember is that when you close your compass the two points should be together. You don't want the pencil to be sticking out further or sticking uh, out less. You don't want that. You don't want that. So make sure your compass is nice and tight. Your points are together. Take your point, put it on B, make sure it's more than halfway, and draw your arc. Same for A. Now draw this one a little bit more. You want to make sure that your compass doesn't move. If you saw, even though I went to A, I could go back to B because I didn't move my compass. Then we draw our line. We connect those two points. You may want to extend it because we're going to put our square up here in what would be the first quadrant of a coordinate plane. We now have this distance here from B to our new line. We can label this point C. So we need to get this distance. We're going to stretch our compass. And then we're going to put, so we have this measurement without using a ruler, using only our compass from C to B. That's what we want the length, the side of our square to be. So we're going to now put our point on C and we're just going to put a mark and we're going to put our point on the mark put another mark. We didn't make the line long enough so we need to extend it. And now we have E, D, and C. We're going to create another perpendicular bisector because if we were to just use this point, there's no guarantees that our line would be straight and that we would have a 90 degree angle. Remember that this is a 90 degree angle because this is a perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular means it's a 90 degree angle. So we do the same for C, D, and E as we did for A and B. So we put it more than halfway. Draw our arc. Once again, more than halfway. Draw our arc. If we did it right, it should go right through D. Mission accomplished. It went right through D. I'm going to extend this just a little bit. Just to be safe. We then, once again, you always want to go back to your original. So I'm going to measure C and B. And do the same here. And then I'm going to measure it again here. Extend my line a little bit more. Then we make a third perpendicular bisector. So, because this line EC is a perpendicular bisector of AB, we have a 90 degree angle here. Because this line here is a perpendicular bisector of CE, we have a 90 degree angle here. Now we're going to create a 90 degree angle. I'll label this F. Miss G. I'm going to create another perpendicular bisector. Just 
in the page if it makes you feel more comfortable. Once again, if you did it right, you should not only go through F, but through B as well. Mission accomplished. We have, because we just drew a perpendicular bisector, we have, once again, another 90 degree angle. 90 degree angle there. So as you can see, it's a little crowded. And with practice, you won't have to do the giant arcs. You could just do where they meet. We have a square using a compass. A compass and a straight edge using only perpendicular bisectors.